ang lesson natin sa umagang ito ay tungkol sa subtraction of similar and dissimilar fraction. So, unahin natin ang subtraction of similar fractions. Ano ba ang mga similar fractions? Ito yung mga fraction na parehas ang kanilang denominator. So, kung hindi mo pa napapanood ang ating tutorial about kinds of fraction, click the description box below and watch the video. So, kapag nagsasubtract tayo ng similar fraction, ang ginagawa lang natin ay isusubtract ang numerator at kukopyahin lang natin ang kanilang denominator. Example, 10 over 14 minus 7 over 14. So, 10 minus 7 is 3 and copy the denominator 14. So, ang final answer natin ay 3 over 14. Next example, 8 over 10 minus 1 over 10. So, 8 minus 1 is 7 and copy the denominator 10. So, our answer is 7 over 10. Another example, 8 over 12 minus 2 over 12. So, 8 minus 2 is 6 and copy the denominator 12. By this time, kailangan natin siyang i-reduce into its lowest term. So, kailangan natin maghanap ng kanilang greatest common factor at i-divide natin both numerator and denominator. So, ang greatest common factor ni 6 and 12 is 6. So, i-divide natin numerator by 6 and denominator by 6. So, 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So, the final answer, which is reduced into lowest term, is 1 half. Another, 13 over 20 minus 5 over 20. So, minus natin yung numerator. 13 minus 5 is 8. And, copy the denominator, 20. Again, reduce natin siya into lowest term. So, ang GCF ni 8 and 20 is 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2 and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So, our answer which is reduced into the lowest term is 2 over 5. Now, Magproceed naman tayo sa subtraction of dissimilar fraction. So, pag sinabing dissimilar fraction, magkaiba ang kanilang denominator. So, bago natin sila masusubtract, kailangan gawin muna natin silang like fraction or similar fraction by getting the LCD o least common denominator. Example, 4 minus 5 minus 2 over 3. So, ang kanilang denominator ay magkaiba. So, kailangan natin humanap ng kanilang least common denominator. So, lista muna natin ang table 5 and 3. So, ang common sa kanila ay 15. Yan yung pinaka maliit na number or least number na common sa kanilang dalawa. So, yan ang gagawin nating denominator. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 4, 12. So, yung 12 ang ating new numerator. On the other side, 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2 is 10. So, ang bago nating fraction is 12 over 15 minus 10 over 15. So, 12 minus 10 is 2 and then copy the denominator 15. So, yan ay nakareduce na in lowest term. So, ito na ang ating final answer. Next example tayo, 2 over 7 minus 2 over 8. So, si 7 and 8 ay magkaiba. So, hanapan natin sila ng least common denominator. So, idista natin ng table 7 and 8. And as you can see here, ang pinakamababang number na common sa kanilang dalawa ay 56. So, yan ang ating bagong denominator. So, para makuha naman natin ang new numerator, gawin lang natin yung process. 56 divided by 7 is 8 and 8 times 2 is 16. Next, 56 divided by 8 is 7 and 7 times 2 is 14. Now, Let's subtract. 16 minus 14 is 2. 
at kopyahin lang natin ang denominator 56. So, pwede pa natin siyang reduce into lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by greatest common factor which is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1 and 56 divided by 2 is 28. So, our final answer is 1 over 28.